Hello there. Uh, this is the second lesson for the Nashville Numbering System. Um, last time we talked about half steps and whole steps. And so this time we're going to talk about how to use those half steps and whole steps to make major scales. Um, as you can see I have here a handy little chart. Um, w stands for whole. H stands for half. Uh, this is just the English way to do it. You could say this is the metric way. However, it's easier for you to remember. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, so this is a whole step, whole step, half step, whole, 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 half. And this indicates what kind of steps we're going to take in between the notes that we play on the piano um, in an uh, ascending way. So let's say that we start on C. Uh, the first step that we're going to take is a whole step. So from C, a whole step up would be D. The second step we're going to take is a whole step. A whole step from D is E. The third step that we're going to take is a half step. A half step up from E is F. The next one I'm going to do is a whole step. A whole step from F is G. The next one is another whole step. A whole step from G is A. The next one is our last whole step. A whole step from A is B. And then the last one is a half step. A half step up from B is C. So our finished product, if you plug in all your whole and half steps correctly, should sound like this. Now, let's say we want to start on G. Whole step from G is A. A whole step from A is B. Our half step from B is C. Ha a whole step from C is D. Whole step from D is E. Whole step from E would be F sharp. And then our half step from F sharp would be G. So starting on G, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, another whole step, and then our half step. So it sounds like this. Sorry, you didn't see that very well. <laughs> I had the camera pointed wrong. Um, so that's a major scale. 